So I have a student who's asking about how to simulate the real exam length in order to build endurance. He says he knows some people who do seven URL blocks every day during the final week. He wants to know my view on that. My response is, that's a bad fucking idea, okay? I've talked about how, number one, you should not be doing UWorld all the way up to your exam. That's a separate discussion of itself. I've talked about how you need to be focused on the NBME content late, 20 through 30. For step one, you're going to memorize those exams. For 2CK, 6 through 11, as well as all the clinical mastery series forms, the NBME subject-specific forms. You're going to focus on all of that content late because the real U.S. simile and the NBME content, they're exactly the same questions, okay? Once again, I've made tons of clips on this stuff. The real U.S. simile is not UWorld. So that, for that reason, in and of itself, the fact that you would, the notion of focusing on UWorld questions when those are not the real deal, focusing on those late, bad fucking idea. You need to calibrate to the NBME question style because those are the real exam questions, okay? So... The other point as far as building endurance, you'd be very surprised that on the real exam day, you'll be completely fine, even if you've only been doing, let's say, 40 questions per day in UWorld, okay? The NBME exams that are roughly 200 questions, those are perfectly fine to do. Uh, the length of those exams, perfectly fine. You do not have to go beyond that. Some students will ask, should I do two NBMEs back to back on a certain day or an NBME exam, then free 120 or a UWSA after? It's a bad fucking idea, okay? You should focus on one NBME exam at a time and give yourself two to three days to fully review each exam, depending on how many questions you're getting wrong, okay? So the two main points here to, as far as a recapitulation is, you don't want to do UWorld up into your up until the actual exam, you're gonna focus on the NBME content. And then number two, you do not have to stress about needing to simulate uh, some sort of real exam day, okay? Even going to per metric to simulate the exam, you don't wanna do anything like that. You can just rest assured that on the real exam day, you're gonna have enough catecholamines uh, floating around where you'll get through the exam no problem, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.